Hello, I'm Lee Holden. Welcome to Qigong for upper back, neck, and shoulder tension. The goal of this session is to encourage circulation to flow through the upper body, relieving pain, stiffness, and tension. In the classics, it is said that flowing water never stagnates, and the hinges of an active door never rust. The same applies to our bodies. Why is it that the neck and shoulder area gets so tight, tense, and painful? I'm sure if you're watching this series, you've experienced the rising of the shoulders towards the ears with tension. Know that you're not alone. At least 80% of the population experience upper back or neck pain at some point in their lives. We live in an age of inactivity and repetitive motions. This is true for individuals who work at a desk and computer, but equally true of the hairstylist, dentist, electrician, construction worker, and homemaker. Many people complain that when their back isn't working right, nothing in their life works right. Pain is a very good messenger. It tells us that something is wrong. Back and neck pain come in all degrees, from a brief, mild ache after a day of painting the ceiling, to a crippling, years-long misery that defies potent pain relievers, physical therapy, and even surgery. With the right exercises, most of these problems can be prevented. Or, once symptoms manifest, they can be easily treated in the early stages before they become debilitating. And if they are severe, these exercises can gently guide you back to balance. Having a healthy neck and upper back is a journey. This routine keeps you on the right path toward that goal. Qigong teaches basic stretches and exercises to compensate for habitual movements, structural imbalances, and muscular tension. The soft, slow movements of Qigong prevent stiffness and stagnation from taking root in the upper body. Qigong combines three key components. The first is slow, fluid movements to improve the body's alignment, posture, strength, flexibility, coordination, and balance. The second is deep breathing. The breath should be rhythmic and relaxed, deep and full. This brings more oxygen into the system. Remember, oxygenated blood flows to the muscles and brain, releasing stress. And the third is a meditative state of mind. A meditative state of mind, coupled with these movements and breathing, is said to dissipate stress and anxiety, which helps relieve pain caused by psychological and emotional factors. Remember to take your time as you go through these exercises. You can watch the tape all the way through once and choose the exercises that are most suited to you. Work into them slowly. Know that if anything doesn't feel comfortable or right, you don't have to do that exercise. Just simply skip it and go to the next one. May the beauty of this natural stream help you relax, unwind, and become more fluid through your upper body, back, neck, and shoulders. The most important lesson in Qigong is to listen to your body. Not all the exercises are for everyone. If you want, you can watch the exercises all the way through and then pick the exercises that are most suited to you. So from the beauty of this natural stream, may you relax and unwind and release tension through your upper body. Let's begin this series of exercises either sitting on the floor, on a cushion, or sitting in a chair. Begin by bringing both hands over your lower abdomen and taking some long, slow, deep breaths. On the inhale, you want to feel the abdomen expand, and on the exhale, feel the abdomen gently moving towards the spine. Deep abdominal breathing helps to release tension and tightness out of the neck and shoulders. Slowly work into the neck muscles by gently leaning the head to the left. Feel the stretch. 
and then gently lean the head to the right. Allow the muscles to just open and elongate. Gently take the left hand on top of the head and stretch it again over to the left side, a little bit deeper this time. Breathe into it. And gently take that stretch over to the right side. Take the right hand on top of the head and stretch a little bit deeper and breathe into the muscles in the neck. Again, let's go over to the left side and stretch. And to the right side and stretch. And now take both palms, extend the arms out to the sides and press down. Lean the head over to the left and gently roll the head back and forth across the left shoulder. This movement stretches and elongates the muscles through the neck, helps to open the cervical vertebra. And then let's switch. Gently lean the head over to the right side. Stretch and breathe. Slow, gentle rolling of the neck. Come back to the center. Bring the fingertips together with the thumbs and flex the wrists towards the elbows. Once again, lean the head over to the left side, gently roll the head back and forth, and stretch into the neck. Exhale all the way out to release tension, to release tightness out of the neck and shoulders. Go ahead and go to the other side, rolling the head back and forth over to the right side and stretch and open. Continue with that nice, long, deep breathing. And come back to the center. Bring both hands to the left side and press the palms away from you. Turn the head to the right. This is a dynamic stretch for the neck, shoulders, chest, and upper back. Look into the hands and then press and turn the head to the other direction. Inhale as you look into the hands and exhale as you turn. We synchronize the breath with the movement to help to create some rhythm and opening in the upper body. Looking into the hands, press and turn the head. Feel the stretch, feel the opening. And now let's go to the other side. Arms out to the right, and we're turning the head to the left. Press through the palms. Turn the head just as far as you feel comfortable. Ease into the stretch. Again, inhale, look into the palms. Exhale, press and turn. Long, deep breathing. Relax and open. And we come back to the center, bring the hands down. We open the legs, bring the soles of the feet together, interlock the fingers around the toes, and we go into a movement and an exercise called the turtle and the turtle neck tucking the chin down into the chest, pulling the body forward. This helps to open the upper back and stretch the spine. And then we look up and open. Synchronize this movement with your breathing. 
So you can inhale as you look up and exhale as the chin comes down to the chest and you roll forward. Breathe into the spine, breathe into the movement. Feel this opening the neck, shoulders, and the entire spinal cord. And now bring the chin down to the chest and pull the spine backwards. And this helps to stretch and elongate the upper back and the neck. We'll go back and forth. We'll pull the chin to the chest and then we'll look up and open the chest, moving the spine in both directions. Chin to the chest, spine moves back and then expand and open the chest and look up. Feel that pulling and opening the upper back. Lengthen those muscles. That space between the shoulder blades is a difficult spot to reach. So we can at the end hold the stretch just for a few seconds and feel that opening. And now I'll straighten both legs and we'll do the same thing. We'll do this turtle neck movement. Chin down to the chest. Circle the head. Once again, inhale and look up. Exhale, chin to the chest and roll through. Nice, long, deep breathing. Feel the spine lengthening. If you want to, you can reach the hands down a little further and continue with the movement. And then when you're ready, just hold the stretch. Go into a nice, gentle forward bend. Relax into the stretch and take a couple of deep breaths. From here, we're gonna go into an exercise that really helps to open the neck and shoulders. Make sure you feel comfortable with this. Go into it easy. It's a fairly strong stretch for the upper back. And begin by bringing the hands onto the soles of the feet. Slowly walk the legs out until you feel the stretch in the hamstrings. You don't have to straighten the legs all the way. Just go as far as you feel comfortable. From here, press the toes forward, tuck the chin in towards the chest, and slowly move the spine backwards. And this helps to create, again, space through the upper back, opening between the shoulder blades, and a lengthening through the neck. Breathe into it. And we just hold the stretch, feel that opening. And when you're ready, you can slowly release. Go ahead now and sit with the legs crossed. Take a couple of deep breaths. Bring the hands over the lower abdomen. And just feel that opening, that space, that circulation moving in the neck and shoulders, through the upper back and a general overall sense of relaxation and well-being through the body. Begin this standing routine by bringing both hands over the lower abdomen. Inhale and feel the belly expand Exhale and allow the abdomen to move towards the spine. The way you breathe reflects the way you feel. By breathing deeper into the abdomen, you can actually release tension and tightness through the upper back, neck and shoulders. Deep breathing sends a message to the body to relax and let go of stress. Remember to bring this deep breathing into all the exercises. Let's start by bringing the arms up about shoulder height. Begin by twisting over one shoulder and then the next. This movement opens the spine through the upper back. Inhale to the middle, exhale into the twist. If you want to go deeper, 
come off the back heel and onto the toes as you twist. This allows you to rotate even further. Remember to start slowly at first and be comfortable. Feel the body open. Bring the arms down and take the palms behind the back. Have the fingers pointing down. Slowly start to circle the head. Feel this opening through the neck, through the upper back, through the shoulder area. Nice stretch. Breathe into it. Bring your breath into the stretch by focusing on the exhale. When you exhale all the way out, you can allow tension or tightness to move out through the breath and to clear the neck and shoulder area. Circle the head the other way. Feel the spine open. Don't force the stretch, just relax into it. Ear towards the shoulder, dropping down and circling. On this stretch, you don't need to bring the head too far back. It's mainly side to side and down. Next, bring the fingertips together with the thumbs and take the hands just below the collarbones. Slowly start to circle the arms and the shoulders. This is called the rooster spreads the feathers. It's a great exercise for the upper back great exercise for opening the shoulder joints. Let's inhale and bring the arms up and exhale as the arms come down. Arms going up, deep breath, open the chest, drop the arms back and down and sink the chest. This helps to open all the joints through the upper back opens the shoulders, opens the chest. Breathe into it. From here, we'll switch the movement and we'll go into the rooster spreading the feathers. This helps to open the body in a slightly different way. expanding into the rib cage and under the shoulder blades. This exercise helps to make the joints more silky and smooth. Feel the hips and the waist participate in the movement. Allow the joints to be oily, smooth and silky. Then let's switch the direction. We're going forward with the arms now. Open the ribs, circle the arms, feel the shoulders open. Breathe into it. Next step back with one foot and let the arm hang forward over the front leg. As you shift the weight back, lift the shoulder up toward the ear, then let it drop back and down. This movement is described as oiling the shoulder joint. Try to relax into the movement. Feel the movement connected with the shifting of the weight. Again, the shoulder moves up toward the ear, back and down as the weight shifts back. Lift and drop. And then we can slowly switch sides. And once again, as the weight shifts, we lift the shoulder up toward the ear, drop it back and down. With each movement, feel the shoulder opening a little bit more.